I just want to talk a little bit about if someone wants to take it away, but just kind of setting the stage uh, for PHP. And, you know, we've mentioned now like the stigma behind it and things like that. And I don't want to totally focus on that, but that is something I want people to understand as to why that exists and and and, uh, and, and perhaps, you know, the, the misconceptions of it. Um, but if someone wants to just kind of jump in and, and uh, you know, explain to maybe someone that has a little bit of understanding of software development, but doesn't know too much about PHP, um, just want to set the stage a little bit and explain things. Um, anyone that wants to take it away uh, would be great. I can start if that's okay. Please do. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, so uh, I think that uh, the most uh, where PHP has improved over the uh, past couple of years is uh, with code clearance and also understanding how code works before executing it. And that all obviously includes typed properties passing uh, you know, function attributes more cleanly uh, stuff like that and uh, I uh, basically uh, you know, like the way how, how they even uh, made it better in PHP 8.0 where you can pass the named attributes uh, in the functions so whichever is not necessary you can just ignore it and just add the name and double dot and uh, has the attribute and that's way more clean. Also, I think they also introduced that uh, in 8.0, the union types, uh, I mean, ability to uh, have the multiple responses, uh, re response types there. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, that, that's pretty much it was what I like the, the most yeah. in the HP. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so language became more and more type strict. This is actually type strict in runtime, not like maybe in types, TypeScript in front-end world when when it's only on a compile time, yeah? yeah. So uh, basically, I think the only thing which is missing right now, and we all uh, very, very want that, is generics. That's the only thing left from yeah. a like, very strong typed language. You can still write it uh, the way you used to, uh, but with more advanced applications, you just want uh, your application to break as soon as possible yeah. to yep. just catch all the errors. Yeah, yeah and without executing the code action. Yeah, yeah, and, and something that I still see people getting surprised is that PHP already has like a pretty solid OOP implementation. Mm -hmm. and people yep. nowadays, they like sometimes they just like help a friend or just tell someone about PHP and they say, oh my God, it has OP. I was like, yeah, man, it, since version <laughs> five, pretty much, it yeah. started having a very solid implementation. PHP four, it was kind of weird, but five, it's very solid, 5.6 and then seven and things have been improving a lot. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why, but people kind of stuck to the PHP four way of doing things. And they've been doing the yep. same thing, you know, using old methods to connect to databases and etc. Yep. And they never kept up. And nowadays, like sometimes I'm going to help a friend of mine. He has like this version of PHP and I share a snippet of code and they say, what is this language? I say, well, it's PHP 8, man. Yeah. New things, new features, new classes and, and, and new things. Like they said, they, there's the union types, there's like intersection types as well. Oh, there's a lot of new things that if you compare, it doesn't even look the same language anymore. It's not the same. Yeah, absolutely exactly. absolutely what do you what do you think while we're still kind of on this topic what what do you think that is because i've seen that as well as people just kind of not realizing uh that php continued to uh to develop and, and mature uh do you think it's because there were just other languages coming out and and folks were jumping around um and that they just didn't even you know follow the the timeline of php they were jumping onto ruby on rails and go and things like that over over time or or uh, i don't know i'm just curious as to why that is because i agree with you i've seen that as well in my opinion opinion my personal opinion <clears throat> i'd say that the core team you know the, 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 the team that develops php and builds a new feature they're kind of very flexible when it comes to deprecating the old features and things like okay. that mm -hmm. okay so for example there is like the, these uh, utf8 and code and utf8 decode functions it's very misleading because it yeah. only converts from the iso to utf and i i remember seeing the discussion about deprecating this function for like maybe over a decade ago and only on version 8.2, they decided to deprecate it. It will still work, but it will throw a deprecation message. Yeah. So maybe in my personal opinion, that's what I see. Where in other languages, they like the developer, the core team is not afraid to deprecate something and say, okay, guys, so this is the new way of doing things. Let's stop doing the old, the old way. PHP team, I feel they, they want to bring these people, okay, let's support old code. Yeah. And there are like ups and downs of both approaches, but 
in my opinion, that is the reason why. That makes sense. That makes sense. Developers that, that knew PHP and were familiar with PHP weren't forced uh, to learn better That's practices, right. right? As Yeah, that makes sense. And you stay in your corporate also, zone. When you, yes. when you look at the most popular applications based on PHP, it's actually, unfortunately, to WordPress, which yep. Yep. isn't representing the, the best uh, what this language can do, yeah? Uh, to be honest, at version 8.1 and 2, I don't see like a huge difference between like big commercial enterprise languages like Java or yeah. C Sharp and comparing them to the uh, to to what PHP is now, yeah? yeah. Um, also, I think PHP used to be like uh, this very fast language to learn where the learning curve was really, really easy, yeah? Yeah. Uh, now it, it it changed a bit because, for example, JavaScript is way easier to start because you just open the browser, create a .html file, and that's it. Yep. Yeah? Every browser has a JavaScript interpreter and you, you can start playing around, yeah? While this used to be like the advantage of PHP back in the days, because uh, it was easy to set up comparing to um, Java, to C Sharp, to um, anything else. Yeah. Right now, yeah, it's. Um, I think that yeah, uh, Diego said a great thing. Uh, I think that PHP Foundation needs to basically uh, make a stand of where PHP is going, because it's not like this immature uh, language that it used to be, yep. but still they are staying with with this mantra, with this like spirit, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, while it became way, way more advanced, yeah? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I think that uh, one for the future is uh, just in time, uh, the JIT. Uh, compiler, uh, which uh, basically you know, gives a lot of promise uh, in terms of handling the big data and sort of big operations, because uh, uh, rather than compiling the PHP code and executing it uh, and caching it, it also uh, compiles uh, the native code that PHP converts to in the virtual machine. So that's that's one for the future, I think. And uh, PHP, uh, I think, will be considered the one for the big data operations like Python is today. So. Yeah, that's I think interesting. That's an exciting change. Yeah. Yeah.